Hey guys, I'm copycatting Lang who was driving around in his car as he was doing his video blog, except I am safely parked in a parking lot. So anyway, I thought of you guys all this morning, um, planning your weekend gigs. Um, I was working out, I had the TV on, uh, Good Morning America. Ed Sheeran was live from Central Park. So I was interested to watch this, watch him live. He just had an acoustic guitar and a loop pedal. He built a great loop. He started with a little cool picking pattern and then some chords and then a, he beat on the box of his guitar creating a great rhythm and finally did a vocal thing over the top. And then he took the mic out of the stand and started to sing to the loop. Yes, great. But then he blew it in my mind. I'll have to wait till I get home to show you what he did. Okay, so I'm back home. Here I am in my office. Um, so yes, so Ed, the loop is going. Great. Ed takes his mic out, even better. Then he proceeds to do two things wrong. First of all, he leaves his mic stand there. So he's kind of just walking. Whoops, I don't know if you can see this. So he's just walking like right literally just uh, right behind his mic stand. Like right here, maybe right here for a little bit. And I couldn't believe it because he's got a 40 to 50 foot wide stage. And he's wasting this opportunity. First of all, he leaves that the stand there as a kind of a block. And that's annoying. But then he's missing the chance to walk over and get these people on this side of the stage, sing to them, walk over to the other side of the stage, engage those people. And I just was like yelling at the TV. It's like, use the stage. But that's just what I, what I want to say to you right now is use the stage. I don't care how big it is, how small it is. You need to really work. If there's people over on both sides of the stage, get over there somehow, sometime during the show. Because those people need to connect to you. Now, he's married to his audience, granted. So they're going to love him no matter what. But he could have even drawn more people in by just getting away, either get, getting rid of the stand at the very least, and then walking, using that stage while the loop was going. Because how many times in a show, unless he's using that loop pedal, if it's just him and guitar, he's kind of tied to the mic stand. So when he uses a loop, he can get away from it, which is amazing. So keep that in mind, uh, guitar players especially, um, to make an effort, get out of that little circle that you're in, that little center stage spot, and engage with both sides of the crowd. Use the whole stage.